All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of APC Transport, which is being made by user Lone Raptor. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a modified APC, which functions as an alternative method for fast traveling, as well as a mobile base of operations. And I just love this thing. Now, it is of course especially useful if you are playing a survival mode game as it does offer that fast travel methodology but it is just as useful in a regular playthrough as well that mobile base is just so very useful and hey if you are a roleplay gamer you can definitely find a whole load of new potential roleplay opportunities with a freaking armored personnel carrier it's just fun and thankfully pretty darn easy to get your hands on if, if once you have it installed you just go over to the red rocket truck stop just outside sanctuary to the east of it you'll find this lovely apc icon which we have right here our new great little tank in this intersection and from the exterior it looks like a pretty standard armored personnel carrier which you see all over the wasteland from different pre-war sites in the commonwealth but what sets it apart is of course its mobile fast travel ability but also its interior which let's have a look at that first now right off the bat you'll see we have a lot of things in here and a lovely little lantern on the outside I don't know why but for some reason I really really like that lantern but as for the actual useful things on the interior let's start on the left hand side and take a look at first we have an APC stove. Now this functions exactly the same as any other cooking station where we can create beverages, roast, soups, utility, etc. And it's just a lovely, lovely little thing to have for all of our cooking needs, which is quite lovely. Now right next to it, we actually do have a cooking supplies container, which is a just standard container. As you can see here, it's labeled as a foot locker, but it has that lovely cooking supplies labeling on it just to give it a little bit of uh, I guess ease of use for you to organize your things manually. We then have a fusion cell bin, which is identical, it's just another container. Then also an ammo box, again, same deal, container. And then up top we have a foot locker. Now unfortunately we do have books and a magazine there which we cannot grab, which is sad, but oh well, it's just wonderful decoration along with all these bowls and plates and other lovely things up top. Now in the dead center we have a mirror, which again is a storage container. A lot of storage containers in this thing, which is always useful. It's great to have plenty of storage. And then on the right-hand side of the APC, we have a lovely wooden crate, which again, storage container. Sadly, we cannot grab this armor up top or any of these things up here. But oh well, again, it's just nice to have some decorative items. We then also have a comics bin, which again generic storage container, a comic we can't grab, sadly, a beer crate, sadly, again, full of beer that we can't grab. Oh, I want it so much, but oh well, it's an empty footlocker. And then finally, the emergency pharmaceutical kit, which again is a lovely little storage container for us, and that is quite nice. So we have our cooking sorted, and pretty much all of our storage needs you could ever desire, but what about sleeping? What sort of mobile base would this be without the ability to sleep? Well, that's taken care of too. If you go up here, back to the right-hand side, we have a bedroll, and if we activate that, we get this lovely UI where we can place our sleeping bag, and it goes on the ground right there. Isn't that wonderful? Just using up all the space beautifully. And yeah, we can just use this like any other bed or sleeping bag to sleep, advance time, and of course, gain that lovely little extra experience gain that you get with being well rested and once you have slept and are done and want to clean the place up you just store the sleeping bag again and boom it's gone and we just have a normal floor that 
is wonderful. I, I just, I really like that for some reason. It's great. So that is all the interior base features. Who wouldn't love all of those things? So how about the fast traveling features? Well, to actually do the fast traveling, you need to go up towards the front of the tank, which anywhere up front pretty much, uh, I usually go right to the easiest part of these step ladders here. We have this APC bit, which we can just activate, and we have four different categories of places we can go to. Now, I gotta talk about this for a second here. We have four categories, two categories of settlements, one of cities, which are the NPC cities like Diamond City, other, which are just other various locations around the wasteland that don't fit well into either of these, and then of course, leaving. Now, in these four categories, there should be a total of 32 different locations. So this APC cannot fast travel to anywhere in the wasteland. It can only go to 32 different predetermined locations. Potentially some more will be added in the future, but for right now, 32 and all in the Commonwealth. None of these are in Far Harbor, so you have to be driving around the Commonwealth for this. And I'm okay with that, because quite frankly, the 32 places are spaced out quite nicely. On the uh, page for the mod, which of course, link in the description as always, there's a map on there of where all of them are, and it's quite well spaced out, so you can pretty much get anywhere you want from these 32 locations. Now, second thing about this. A location will only show up in here if you've discovered it. So if you haven't discovered it yet, it will not go in here and you cannot fast travel to it. I mean, it makes sense. You don't know about it, so why would you drive there? Now, that can actually be changed. We'll talk about the settings for this in a minute, but for right now, by default, you have to know about the settlement and again, only one of 32 different locations. So for instance, uh, let's try and drive somewhere. Let's do city and we'll go to Diamond City. But unfortunately, oh no, we haven't fueled the thing up. Again, another reason why I love this mod. It's not just a, oh hey, yay, let's magically teleport here now. You actually have to fuel up this APC. So as you can see here, the APC is out of fuel. Before you can travel again, you will have to load some more nuclear material in the back. That is what this thing runs off of. So if we go to the back of the APC, right under my lovely lamp, we have fuel storage. And what this takes, again, as it's set up there, is nuclear material. So let's check in 25. And now this will actually take any items with nuclear materials. But problem is, it will consume whatever it uses. So if you throw a clock in here, which does have the nuclear materials, you'll also lose the other things that came with that clock. I think like screws and something else. So anything in here it will eat up entirely to get to that nuclear fuel. So for me, I just like to process things down into its base components and I'll throw that in here, but you could, if you so desired, throw in an alarm clock or whatever the heck else into here and it will do that. But again, it will consume all the rest of the materials with it as well, destroying that item in the process. So there we go, we have our nuclear fuel set. We could now fast travel, but first, before we do, I have two more things to go over. Again, as a method of balancing out this APC, it can take damage. We can travel to all these lovely places that we have in here, but of course, while traveling, we're probably going to end up getting shot at by raiders or something. And so, your tires can get damaged. As you can see down here, we have a prompt when we look at the tires and we can inspect them. And right now, of course, as you can see on the top left-hand side, our tires are fine, so we don't need any repairs right now. But repairs could be needed in the future. And if we head back up to the Red Rocket real quick, because unfortunately that's the closest place I have a chemistry station, you need to go to, well, as I mentioned, a chemistry station, which I placed right here. And you have down at the bottom, these lovely utility kits down here. Now, uh, this one is actually used to create the tire kit. I honestly don't know what this second one is for. I, I, I just made a weird utility thing for me. I think, I have a suspicion, 
In the mod page, there's also a few m in mentions about potentially engine repairs, but I have not seen, in my use of the mod, I have not seen anything that I needed engine repairs for, so at the moment, tire repair all is seems to be the one that's implemented in and for that we need these things right here and we're good to go so you make these tire repair kits and then you just drive and once your tires are damaged you'll have to repair them with one of those kits before moving on which if we just go up here we can actually now finally travel to say uh what the heck let's go to diamond city i haven't gone that far yet so far in my test with this mod I've only traveled to Starlight Drive-In, which is kind of close. So for all I know, this could take a while to load, because not only are we traveling to Diamond City, but we're also taking a freaking armored personnel carrier with us. So it has to load that up, then plus put the APC in the location. So it does seem to take a little bit more time than a standard load for fast travel, because it needs to move the APC, and of course... All the stuff in it. Remember, we have all those lovely containers. You don't want that stuff getting lost. So you want it to all stay nice and happy in its place. So we do have long loading times, but here we go. We're at Diamond City, and apparently Nick has been, you know, brought with us as well. I had him waiting in Sanctuary. Nick, hey. you. I'm listening. No, no, wait. Wait there. Wait, actually, yes. Blood. Yes, stay there so I don't have to listen to you. Excellent. So there we go. We have our APC now over here in Diamond City. Why am I getting experience? I don't know. Oh, well. And let's see. What are our tires now? Have they needed fixing? No, they do not need repairs yet. So, so far, I've done about 15 fast travels with this, and I've only had to repair the tires once so far. So they're pretty darn strong. You're not going to have to repair them often, but it will happen eventually where you do need to go and repair these things. But it's, it's wonderful. It's quite a nice thing to have. Now, there's some settings we can do. Like I said, there was the 32 locations which you have to find in the wasteland before you can travel to them. Or do you? Or do you? So, in our Pip-Boy, if we go to data, or not data, never mind, inventory, and miscellaneous, once you install this mod, we have a settings APC travel holotape that also gets added to your inventory. And if we click this, these are the settings for this mod. And we have a couple of different options. Now, the first one is travel settings, and that is where we can travel in the location in the uh, world so we could either select all locations without restrictions or cities and only discovered settlements so this is what we're on by default only discovered locations but if you do want to turn that off and go anywhere you'd like you can switch it to this top option here and then you can travel to all 32 locations just without any limitations. So if you don't like that find the place first limitation, you can change it, which is quite easy. Now the next option we have is the maintenance ones. Now if you don't like having to do maintenance, you can turn it off. Now we can turn on or off the tire maintenance, which let's turn that off, there we go. We can turn off the engine maintenance, which again, I actually haven't had any issues with the engine, so I don't know if that's fully implemented as of the time of recording this. Who knows, next version that comes out, it might be fully implemented, uh, we'll have to see. But for right now, what the heck, let's just go ahead and turn it off. Now you can also turn off the fueling if you don't want to have to use up all your nuclear materials. And again, just lovely options you can choose in here to customize your whole system, which for me, I like having all these on because it adds in that little extra bit of difficulty, which is always good. Now the final option we have in here is an interesting one. This is actually an autopilot. And what this will do is if you, say, don't want to use the APC, you actually do want to travel on foot from point A to point B, you can tell the autopilot to meet you at point B. So say if we left from Diamond City right now, I could have this go back, say, to settlements and let's do the Red Rocket where we started the video at. We could select that and, oh, it's a... Is that a fuel? Huh, hold on a moment. <laughs> 
I may be having a slight issue right now. We loaded it up with 25 fuel, right? Oh, interesting. Now, this didn't happen to me before. It did function just fine. It doesn't seem to be uh, catching the fuel right now. I may have found a bug. Like I said earlier when testing this, it worked perfectly fine. But in the settings, normally, if it wasn't apparently glitching, I could go to the autopilot and tell it to travel to a location without me. And then it will be there when I get there. So we could tell it to go back to the red rocket and it would be there by the time I walk over to that location if it was working fine. I don't know why it's suddenly bugging out. Just my luck that it starts bugging out while I'm making a video. But that is the point of this. Uh, maybe it's just, I don't know, something I've done while doing the video today. But the autopilot is a useful function. And it's quite cool because this actually does not need to have the locations discover, discovered yet. So if you start out in Sanctuary and want to head to Diamond City, which you haven't gone to yet, you could tell it to meet you there at Diamond City while you make it there on foot. And it'll be there whether or not you know about the place, and I do like that setting. But yeah, that's uh, that's the autopilot for this, and that really is the last thing I have to discuss. Now, again, it's there's a lot of different things with this mod, like with the uh, you know having to discover things. There's also five different versions of the mod you can download on the uh, Nexus page for this with different decals. So you could have like instead of the star right there, you could have like a Brotherhood of Steel APC things like that, which is quite cool and yeah just overall it's a really fun mod i've really enjoyed myself with it and i would definitely say to go and give it a look even though it does still seem to have a couple of bugs here and there it's just fun and entertaining so if you would like to give this a go je definitely go and check out the link in the description as always but that is going to be it for today folks i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one. Now I'm going to take a little nap and then be rejuvenated for more fighting. Later, folks.